Welcome to the show where we talk about what everyone, when everyone, and nobody cares. Hey guys, I'm Joshua, and this is my brother and co-host Eli, and this, this is something. Hey guys, hope you're having a beautiful day, and welcome back to This Is Something. Now, something you and I talked about. Something. Uh, Friday, uh, when we were editing for this week's set of videos, mm -hmm. um, is uh, we were talking about getting in trouble as kids, and uh, I thought that would make an interesting talk, topic to talk about today, and so, uh, you know, why don't you kick us off, tell us something, you know, that, you know something you did that you got in trouble uh, for doing. Uh. A lot. I mean, when, as a kid, you get in trouble for a lot. How about I say a story that I did? I got in trouble for that I didn't do. Okay, that's, there's, there we go. Um, on the wall in the living room, Sam drew all over with a marker, and it was, it was on the on the left side of the uh, the fireplace, and I uh, he went when mom asked about it. He's like, Eli did it, and it was immediately I was the one that got. I, it was all me. I I got in trouble and everything. So that's a story. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you a story. Probably about One me. One time, somebody cut off the cat's whiskers, or half the cat's whiskers. Half the cat's whiskers. And yeah. I was blamed for that. And my, I was getting, I was getting dressed down. I, was I getting, got blamed later for it when it was true. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying I got blamed for it, and I was getting dressed down. And you know, mom was you know, I was yelling at me. I was the one in trouble. And then all of a sudden, you know, you were standing the whole time looking guilty as hell. Mm -hmm. And it's just like mom's like. Eli, did you cut the cat's whiskers and you start crying? You're like, I just wanted to get my hair cut. Yeah. So, yeah. I actually that... vaguely remember that, hap like, actually doing is what I'm saying. I remember getting in trouble because I was holding the freaking, I used those, uh, what do they call those, crazy scissors <laughs> with the shapes. I remember I was holding them the whole time How in my hand have... like this. And mom, mom, like, looked over and she's like, like, you, <laughs> you. So... You had an incident, though, just a couple years ago, your senior year of high school. And this is a great story, so... It's not really a great story at all. Yeah. Are you talking about the window thing? Yeah, yeah, tell us about it. So, all the doors at the high school are... Uh, all the exterior doors are glass. And, uh... Long story short, we were hoisting around, and a window broke. <laughs> One of the doors shattered. Um, and, I, and I got uh, three days in school suspension for it. There was another person that was involved who, uh, I'm not going to give out any names, who didn't get in trouble, who actually, you know, was, he, I would say, equally as involved as me. Well, he was mooting the security camera, wasn't he? Oh, no, 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 that was the other, that was the third person. Okay, there was three the people. The other person that was running down the hallway at the door. Um, that smashed into it with you. That smashed into, well, he, he tripped over me and I fell into the door, which ultimately broke the door. But I didn't get in trouble for breaking the door because you can break a door completely on accident, you know, right. not horsing around at all. Yeah, I got <laughs> most people just break doors. Yeah, I got in trouble for horsing around. He didn't get in any trouble at all because his mom, his was, mom a, was a teacher at the at the high school. At the high school, and his dad was my fifth grade teacher. And then there was a third kid. And there was a third kid who was the reason why we were running at the door is because he he walked up and he was shoving his his. His pasty white ass against the window. <laughs> we're like, oh, we're gonna. Do I don't. I don't even know what we're gonna do. We just started. We just like looked at each other and started running. <laughs> and, the, and it just oh, you're all happened kids. very I mean, fast. Just being, you know. Actually, I got more in trouble. Here's a story for you. I actually got more in trouble because the person I told, because I immediately went to. I saw a janitor down the hallway and went and told her. This was the day. This was after school, the last day before Christmas break. We were preparing for these performances we were going to do as a, as a brass group um, over Christmas. And we were, so we were there at the high school. And I, went, um, I saw Janet down the hallway and went and immediately told her. Mm -hmm. So I assumed, oh, they're going to, they're going to, uh, you know, handle the window and all that. And she's like, oh, I'll tell somebody. So I come back and they're like, yeah, we had to look at the security cameras to see who did it and all that. And I'm like... What the hell are you talking about? She actually got arrested over Christmas break. She never told anybody who did it, what happened. She had taken down my name and everything. She got arrested for aiding a prisoner who had escaped from prison. So I was like, 
So I actually got in more trouble because I didn't tell anybody. So I'm like, you know, you can just watch farther in the video and you can see me walk down the hallway and talk to her. And he says, well, this is the only one we, we kept because they, you know, they have to delete them periodically. So he's like, this is the only one we have here for you today. I'm like, oh my God. Because it would have been on a different camera where I talked to her. That's insane. That, I'm like, that kind of pissed me off a lot. But at the same time, like, yeah, that happened. Um, in school suspension was bad, really bad. Like, it wasn't as bad as, you know, you'd expect it. Like, you know, every kid's like a badass who's going to eat you or something like it. I was sitting there at one point, I had like, I had like, this is a pipe, but I had like a pencil. Actually, there are pencils over here, aren't there? I was kind of doing this, just ever so lightly. And this girl stood up out of the corner and she started screaming at me. She went down the office and got like two more days in school for it. I was just kind of doing this. And she, yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was bad. They brought you your food. It's like that. It's it's so bad. Like you, it's like I, I wouldn't say it's like prison, but they they really treated you like you were like like you were in trouble. Like you were in like serious trouble. Like they they brought you your food. The only time you were allowed to leave is go to the restroom, which was right there. The teacher had to step out and watch you as you went to the restroom. Did you cry? I did not cry. Mm -hmm. no. I, you know, I never got in school suspension. I was I was like the good kid because I I didn't get in trouble a lot. I did get attention like in seventh grade um, for having a rubber band. Uh, do you remember just having a rubber band? Well, no, they they got banned because people like were shooting that. tacos, paper tacos. Oh, that was full. I was pretty they, young for that, but they still do that sometimes. But yeah, you, they make the little paper tacos and they you pull back and you fire them. And yeah, you know, of course, like every you know every kid was doing they, it. They and I was doing it too. They called them paper hornets when I was uh and uh, there. Uh, yeah, and I I had rubber band. I you know a janitor had come by. Um, he was like, hey, you're not supposed to have that. He's like, I'm going to put you I had just bought a rubber band. And, of course, it's like, I didn't know it was in my pocket, but I was 100% going to shoot somebody with a paper taco. <laughs> um, so uh, um, I'll tell you one thing I got in trouble for. The, the one that really sticks out in my mind, probably because it traumatized me a little bit, was our Grandpa Lint had a, a water fountain in his backyard. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, it was a pretty good sized water fountain. And when I was probably about Simon's age, my, my middle child, either six or seven, somewhere maybe somewhere in there, maybe, maybe five, maybe somewhere in there, five to seven, we'll say. Mm -hmm. Um, I had taken a thing of blowing bowls, you know, and I dumped the contents of it in the fountain and just like <laughs> bubbles just coming out over it. My mom and her sisters, they thought it was very, very funny. Grandpa Lynn did not. <laughs> and my grandfather Lynn, our grandpa Lynn, um, was a Big, big, he was intimidating. A, he was a loud, yeah, yeah, he was, he was a bodybuilder. Um, uh, at the time of his death, I don't know where it is now. At the time of his death, he held the record for most weight lift in his age group. Yeah. Um, in the nation. Um, and so he was for a big deadlifting. Uh, he was he was a big intimidating guy, and he was so angry. I remember just being very very scared of him, and you know, uh, so yeah, I mean, that was you know there was something I had done. I didn't really, and this is the thing, I didn't really. Do too many bad things. Nothing that really sticks in my memory. Like oh, you know, like oh, I did this. I, you know, I, I, you know, like oh, I remember doing. Um, yeah, you know, I broke some windows and you know, as a kid, just playing around. I, uh, I know I would like sometimes like run down the stairs, and when I got to the 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 end of the you know the You'd run, smash I'd run into the wall, like, Poof, and I'd done that enough times that one day I had like caved in one wall, I, like knocked a hole in one wall. <laughs> Um, but that really wasn't so much as, um, that wasn't so much, uh, getting in trouble as, you know, my parents like, what, what the hell is wrong with you? Are you, are you stupid? You know? Mm -hmm. So, but you and, uh, uh, we'll go ahead and tell a story about Sam, uh, our other brother, our third brother. Which time? Are you talking about when I stabbed him or? Uh, no, I stabbed him. You did, you stabbed him in the cheek with a pencil, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, he still got a little black dot on his cheek. Well, that was when you were like, Four, we're like yeah, really I've, young. I've, the story I've told us four. Um, no, I'm talking about because I was talking about brain stuff. I had a car <laughs> um, when I was in. Uh, and Sam, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, man. I'm throwing you under the bus on this one. Oh yeah, um, I'm, I'm the one threw, it on, threw you under the bus that day. Um, I had this car when I was in junior. When I was in high school. I was in high school. I was gonna say junior high, but that was a driving brown piece of crap. Yeah. So in the high, it was, oh, right? I had this, 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 yeah. And uh, mom and dad came home one day, and the rear window was smashed out. 
and they were concerned that like somebody robbed or something. You know, right? There's nothing in there. And so they, you know, they were talking. The, you know, they were talking. They were talking. Like, anybody see what happened? And Sam's like, I saw what happened. He's like a pine cone fell off a tree. Now my parents have two big pine trees. Um, Technically uh, four, but there's two that hang over the car. That hang over the car. There's there's two pine trees that hang in there that are around the driveway area. And um, Sam's like a pine cone fell off the tree and it hit the window and the window broke. And my parents were a hundred percent like, no, that didn't happen. So like, what did happen? He's like, uh, what, what what really happened? I threw Sam under the bus that day. I was like, yeah, we were just kind of running around, playing around outside, just running around in circles. He was chasing me, and we might have actually been having a pine cone war where we just used to throw pine cones together. That's a that's all pine cone wars. Um, but we were running around in circles. And I was like, hey, wait, I don't want to get hit. And he keeps throwing shit at me. So I climbed into the back of the car. <laughs> and I was ha- sitting there. And he was throwing pine cones. And nothing was happening. So he picked up rocks out of the driveway. And threw them and smashed the window with some rocks. And we just like, we're like <laughs> and we ran inside. And I had every intention to tell mom what happened. But then she comes in. She's like super pissed off. And we're like. <laughs> And then she started yelling. She's like, okay, so what happened? Who saw it? And Sam's like, a pine cone. I'm like, okay, no. <laughs> you know, the, those those pine cones, uh, my parents saw these pine cones. Like I said, they have pine trees. They have like four in there on their property. And the, um, the <clears throat> pine cones that they produce aren't like kind of your frilly, like kind of spiny ones. They're more like they're really tightly curled. Like, mm-hmm. really, I don't know what kind of pine tree it is. They're long. They're kind of long. And yeah, we would have these pine cone war- with these wars. And we would fling these pine cones at each other as kids. And oh man, that would just piss off our parents so much. Like we have big. They're like, what are you? Are you? Are, what happened? What are you, are you stupid? Um, I will tell you something. I did not get in trouble for. But you probably should have. But I should have, <laughs> and I thought for sure I was I was going to get in trouble for. Yeah. Um, as I took one of those pine cones once, I hit it with a tennis racket. Don't ask why. I was a kid. I'm, I was, you know, we were stupid kids, <laughs> you know. So I hit it with a tennis racket and it went out to the street. And just as the arc was coming into the street, a car came <laughs> and it smacked the window hard. I was, uh, you know, I was way back from the street. I had hit this a pretty good distance, and I had heard a thwunk. I, you know, I, I had heard it hit the car, and I was like, oh, going inside now. And I kind of like went inside quickly, and I was just, just waiting for our driver to like park in our, yeah, you know, like come up to our house and be like, um, so I don't know who's throwing stuff from that. I was waiting from like the like you know. Yeah. Um, they probably thought they hit a bird or something. Well, at that, I, I, you know, you told me about this before. And at that angle, really, if you think about it, it probably did look like a boat hit it. Yeah. I, so, but yeah, that was something I should have gotten in trouble for. You know, something that you and I probably should have gotten in trouble for, which we kind of got talked to years later about it, was. Uh, we used to make marshmallows in the backyard. <laughs> yeah. And they would, you know, marshmallows keep it in too long and catch us fire. Well, what we'd do is we'd get them when they were on, on the fire st- on, the stick. on the stick and we'd go, boom. There's nothing more magical than watching a flame marshmallow. We'd fly to our neighbor's yard. <laughs> I remember I did it once. I hit my mom and dad yeah, they, and mom and dad's remember, window. Do you like this? And it went, and nothing flew off. I'm like, where is it? It's up on the window. I think it was still a little on fire and it goes out. <laughs> like, how did they not wake years, up? For a couple years, it was, it was there. It was pacing as their window. Um, I did get in trouble for that, though. Yeah, I but remember. I not, but not too I much. I think that was probably that was probably the catalyst, that event, it hitting the window. Uh-huh. Um, and it was, like I said, a couple years before that thing washed off all the way. Yeah. That was probably callous for them saying, okay, enough is enough. If you do it again, your ass is grass. Um, yeah. That was incredible. And I understand. That is an incredibly dangerous thing to do. Yeah, I, don't, I totally get it. don't do that. Yeah, that's 100%. Control. I was nine years younger than him. I remember doing I, it when camping. And my, my parents were like, what the hell? Like, just throwing it in the Like, woods. that's like sticks and, you know, like dry leaves. Are you stupid? <laughs> you know, like. Yeah. So. Make that into a target game, like, you know, make it clean so there's not, not, not clean, but make it, you know, not flammable and just have, like, targets <laughs> flaming, <laughs> flaming marshmallows at them. Um, you know, something else I got in trouble for that I probably, that I, I shouldn't have gotten in trouble for, which was stupid that I did get in trouble for as a kid. Um, when Andrew was really young, he drew this cake, and this cake was, it was only, like, that big on the paper, 
but it was like perfect. The lines were really straight. It was like a double deck without those little poles on it and all that stuff. It looked really good. It had little candles. And I remember him, I said, hey, go show that to go show that to dad and dad and grandma. And he runs in there, he's so excited, he's showing it to you guys. And you guys, mom, at least mom, I can't remember if you got upset or not, but mom got so mad that he that I was making him lie because I drew it. She was so mad. She's like, you can't you you can't teach him that that's okay. And to this day, I promise you, I did not draw that cake. <laughs> I don't know. That, that, that still weighs with me. Well, for now, we're gonna go ahead and hit you up with a commercial break, and we'll be right back after these messages. So, and you can see it's. I can I can move around quickly. Um, so it looks like uh, looks like good times next week. Yeah. So uh, you know we're we coming off the heels of talking about times we got in trouble for stupid things we did. You know a lot of times when you do stupid things, you you know pay the price. You know and you get physically. hurt. Yeah, physically you get hurt or you know. Uh, and so yeah, you know, I just thought, hey, you know what? This will be the pain episode. Let's talk about some times <laughs> we got hurt. Um, and so, you know, I, I'm going to start, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with you. You've broken the same place on your arm like three or four times, yeah. have you not? It, it, I hope this isn't too disgusting looking, but I, I think you can probably see it. My, my arm is, is, is double joint. I, I can see it in there. It looks kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the little, the little thing. I'm trying to like line it up with that so you can really see it, how bad it is. It, it, I am double jointed in one arm now, so this one's just normal. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I, uh, I broke this arm twice. And almost a third time. Um, and one time the dog had a reed break it, did he not, to fix it? No, that was Sam. Sam broke okay, it. Okay, okay. Sam had to reed break it. That was because the doctor that had previously put his arm into the thing um, had messed it up. Had messed it up. And he's, he's, he's been run out of town completely. I'm not even joking. That's a whole other story for a whole other time. But that doctor was literally run out of town because of how many things mistakes he had. Mistakes he was making. Mistakes he was making. Um, but yes, I, I broke this arm twice. The first time I broke it, I fell off of a, a friend of mine actually went, I was hanging on the monkey bars, which I'm not really a monkey bar person as it is, I mean, even then is what I'm saying, but I was just kind of playing around with them, I was like, I'm going to try this once, never again, because she ran into me, and I fell, and I twisted it behind my back, and it, and it broke, and that was bad, real bad, like I was crying, oh my God. went, you know, went, went to the hospital, and they're like, yeah, it's broken, and I was in a sling, and all that stuff, well, the next, next time I broke it, we went down a, Sam and I were running down a hill. We didn't get in trouble for it though. <laughs> we were running out. We, we had a wagon and we would, what we do? One person would push it off while the other person would sit inside. And then you'd jump in and you'd stand holding onto their back while you went down this hill. This hill was, wasn't, isn't that tall enough? Now I'm an adult. I look at it, I'm like, wow, that's nothing. But as a kid, it was like, oh, big hill. So we went to this hill next to the house and, uh, Sam, the driver who was inside, decided to turn it halfway down the hill so it flipped over and all that. And I landed, he landed on, no, I, I'm sorry, the wagon landed on my arm, broke it again. Honestly, by that point, because of all the crap I had done in my life, I was like, yeah, I can, I, this is broken, but I only cried a little tiny bit. I went inside, and because I wasn't crying that much, I told mom, and said, so I think I broke my arm again. She's like, no, you didn't. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not kidding at all. And Dad goes, I'm like, don't do that. Just take me to the hospital. When the hospital, it was broken again. He's like, you were like, not really phased for you know having broken your mm -hmm. arm. Um, and so I broke it twice, and that's when it double jointed. The third time, I actually just, uh, I um, what was the what's the word they use for it? I like bruised the, I like bruised the bone there. Um, I slipped on black ice at the at the same school at, at Medill in fifth grade. Slipped on black ice, landed on it, thought I broke it. The doctor said, had I broken it, they would have put pins in it. And I would have been stuck like this. Or this. So, um, thank God I didn't do that. Because I, I like using my arm for different things. I play trombone. I play bass. You know, I can't really... I guess I could play bass kind of like this. But... Like... <laughs> you have to hold it like that. I'm the biggest player. No, and this arm's not... This arm wasn't... Well, now if you hold it like this, you have to keep it straight. You have to be like... Oh, I was talking about if I had it bent. Oh, yeah. Well, if they had it straight, though, you'd have to be like... <laughs> you just do that. <laughs> um, you'd be just like... <laughs> oh, you'd be like, oh, you're being racist. Like, no, I'm, I'm stuck this way. <laughs> 
Do the number, you Do the number, you Watch our previous episode of the producers to understand what we're talking about. Um, I broke my arm too, actually, when I was. I vaguely remember. No, that. you don't, because you weren't born yet. <laughs> Why do I? Oh no, Sam. Andrew broke his wrist, didn't he? Well, like sprained his wrist. He might have sprained his wrist. I don't think he ever broke anything. I think he sprained it as a kid. No, this this. Why well, I broke my well, I broke my arm? It was well, I don't think it was. I don't think mom. No, I know. Mom hadn't even met dad yet. Okay, um, so it's like. So yeah, I know this was before. You know, this was yeah, well before you. Um, I was. Uh, I was told not to play on, on a log on a log pile, and so I did exactly I that. Did I played I, I played on a log pile. I was pretending I was fishing. I remember that because I had like a stick, and I was just like pretending I was like I was fishing, and I slipped off, and I you know I, I broke it, and um, the uh, we they were we were with some of uh, mom's friends at the time. She was you know, some some friends she had, and there was a big snake that was under the car, and they had to end up. I think they ended up having to run over it. To get it to move, to get me to the hospital, not animal cruelty necessarily, but they couldn't go get somebody to move the snake. You know, like time was in the essence. I broke my arm. I needed to get to a hospital. Yeah, before. Um, yeah. Before so, but yeah, there, there was that. I did break my arm. I also broke my arm. And you know, like as a kid, that's kind of it sucks, but it's also kind of cool as a kid because you know you get people to sign your cast. Well, see, I didn't. Get... I, I was in. I, I was. I know for a fact I was in kindergarten. I was at, well. I know where I was in kindergarten because I because I was in kindergarten and I uh, we had a swim day. I couldn't go swimming because it cast. cast. But you know, I was also kind of cool because I could you know like just go around and have people sign my cast for me. Um, I do remember that kind of man. Those things. You want to sign my cast? You know, those things smell when they take them off. Oh God! They're, 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 they're like they're horrendous it. and like as a little kid, I, I wanted I kid. wanted to keep mine because I had all the signatures on it. My mom was like, no, that thing smells terrible. No. I kept my first one for many years, and I threw it away. My second one, I didn't get people to sign because they gave me one of those new, mo more modern soft cast things, which it's hard, but it's like this soft wrap all the way around mm -hmm. it, so you can't really get people to sign it. So it really sucked. I, didn't get, I think I, I tried to get one signature on it, and it was like just disgusting. Like the entire time, I'm walking around with this soft cast thing. It's got like a, like a smudge, smudge, a black smudge. smudge signature thing right here. So... But yeah, casts suck. I something else that happened when I was in kindergarten. Um, I kind of injured myself slash got really sick every single year um, through elementary and junior high. Um, elementary was all injuries. Junior Real high stupid was all stuff sick. too. A lot of but times. But this one wasn't with with me with you. I was uh, this was in kindergarten. I was running along, right, and. I, how'd that happen? I was running with the the path for the the old elementary. The elementary that I went to, Medill, is gone now. They they it, it's still the schools there, but they rebuilt it into right. a two story that Simon goes to now. But um, when I was there, there's this huge path that ran around the playground and all that. And I was running along the path that ran next to the building, and a teacher had just opened the window. These weird swing open huge windows, mm -hmm. and they went slightly over the path. And I was like, oh, I'm going to be the cool guy. And I tried to duck under it. And I went, boom, <laughs> and hit it. I still have this. There's a chunk missing out of my head here. Yeah, that probably explains a lot of now. But uh, there's a small chunk missing out of my head right here. When I go bald for St. Baldrix, you can see this chunk missing out of my head here. Um, but I, I, I know I had to have knocked something to the point where I wasn't really feeling it. Because I walked up to the teacher, to my teacher, uh, um... And I had blood coming down my face. It was just one of my. I had this white shirt for because there's like these uh these little like um fun days or whatever where we walked all the way to the other side of the playground where we weren't allowed to go as kindergartners yet. And we we talked with the teacher. We did these activities and stuff. So we had these special. Every one of these white T-shirts and mine was literally just red. It's just straight red. Um, and there was just blood. Everywhere, you know, and I remember going to the ER, which was at the time the ER here at the hospital was pretty bad. I had a big gash in my head, and I sat for nearly six hours in the ER waiting room to get in for a gash in my head. My head is bleeding, and they didn't care. I probably had a concussion for all I know, um, but so I had that. It's funny you were talking about it not hurting because, interestingly, I too also got stitches in my head. 
um, again before you were, uh, be, before again before you were born. So probably a year before or a year after the the broken arm um, had to be in right around there. Um, if you were in the kindergarten for the broken arm, you it was probably, probably first like first grade, nineteen ninety one, ninety two somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was, it was probably the first grade. I was probably one of those. Yeah. Um, because I know that mom was still, you know, still just mom at the time. Um, we were still, you know, it was just us. We were living alone. We were living in West Jefferson. And um, she had one of those folding uh, tabletop sewing machines. Mm -hmm. And there was hamster food underneath. At the time, I had a hamster. I needed to go get hamster food for the hamster. And I had, I had like, crawl, I had gone under to get it. And I stood up, I sm smacked my head on, on the sewing machine, part, on the machine yeah. part that was now hanging down. And... Um, you know, I came. I was like, oh, like, oh, I hit my head. And it kind of hurts. And mom was like, oh my god, there's a lot of blood. I think there's just bleeds a lot. I don't think uh -huh. there's probably a lot of sensory stuff right here. Yeah. I so you thing. probably don't, you know, feel too much because I did the exact same thing. Like, oh, I hit my head. It hurts. Mm -hmm. Mom's like, oh, that's a lot of blood. We're going to the hospital. Um, and I ended up getting stitches. I had in my head. We we did do lawsuits. With, I think my as I said, every year in elementary, I had something big. I think it was the fourth grade. Is when I sliced my knee open. Um, at, at, at mom and dad's house, we, there's this little ledge thing that comes off. It's like the uh, the garage is like this off the house, and it's on the back side of the garage, on the far side of the house that not that many people use. Over where the chicken coop is now. Um, and we used to run off of it and jump, yeah, and jump. This is like a little fun thing. We'd say, "Oh, who's sissy enough that who's not, you know who's who's gonna do it?" Oh, we try to do like action movie scenes where we like jump off and then like try and tuck and roll and yeah, get up. Yeah, it never happened, but you know, so I have. But we just run up, jump, and we just go in a circle, take turns. Who's jumping off next? So, but I jumped. And I fell into a wood pot, and there's a piece of wood there, and it just sliced my leg right open. So I have this one inch scar. It's a little over an inch. It's still on my knee. Um, I'd show you, but uh, you can't really see it from this distance. Maybe I'll have a picture or something. But when I was in junior high, I had a newspaper route, and I was on one my I was out one day on my route, and uh, this woman had this big black dog, and it came charging, up, burr, burr, and I was like, oh, you did it again. yeah, and I was I was trying to I was trying to ignore the dog. I was like, if I ignore it, you know, like you know, maybe I'll they'll just, and so I was like trying to like trying to like you know. Yeah, they say like you know animal sense figure and everything. This dog was really aggressive. It was bark, you know. It was getting that that you know how they get that guttural like from the chest. Mm -hmm. And you know, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna let it sense my fear. I'm gonna walk by. And I'm gonna be. I'm just gonna be you know, son of a bitch. That dog didn't bite me on the back of the leg. I had to go to the hospital. I, I do remember that. Uh, and the woman's like, you know, the, the, then the woman yelled at it. The dog did come back after it bit me. You know, like it didn't listen to her before biting me, but after it bit me. Yeah. Um. And, uh, yeah, I had to go to the hospital, and they were like, well, we're not going to stitch it or anything because we want any bacteria to drain. Um, and so, yeah, there, there, there was that. Um, but, yeah, I got bit, you know, I got bit by a dog, and I, yeah, you know, I'm still, I, I get sketchy around dogs big. when, big so, dogs, when they're getting, like, that aggressive, you know, a little teacup dog, I'm just kicking the face, you know, <laughs> take that dog. Um, but you know, I still get sketchy. No, I, you know, I still, I still handle it the same way because I, I do believe that is the best mm -hmm. way to handle it. Um, is you know not to show that fear and to you know be confident. And, but uh, you know, I uh, I never got attacked by a dog. <laughs> but uh, I'm trying to think. First grade, it was first grade. I got a thim, not a thim. What do you call this? A sequin. A sequin. I got a sequin stuck in the roof of my mouth. My, I, I, I was that kid. I found it. And I was like, in the first grade, you were in the first, first grade. Your mouth? It, 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 it lodged up at the top of my mouth at this angle, away from me, up in the top of my mouth. And I told the teacher about it, and she's like, oh, well, you can probably get out with a toothbrush, you know, just rub it backwards. <laughs> to get home. So I went home. I didn't tell my parents. I was worried. It was like, <laughs> like he's choking on, this tooth, choking on this toothbrush, trying to get it out. So I finally told my parents, and we went to the doctor, and she was like, oh, yeah, here you go. <laughs> and she showed us his little blue sequin. Like, no, it was gold. I'm sorry. It was a gold sequin. And she's like, yeah, just don't put stuff in your mouth. And she's like, don't be a dumb ass. <laughs> that stupid kid. <laughs> like, that stupid kid's like, hey, look, matches. <laughs> like, <clears throat> yeah. That, that this was, was after the head injury, yeah? Yeah, that was a low point. <laughs> 
It was second grade that I broke my own first time. I'm Third thinking about that that time. story about you know I'll, I'll end our segment with you know I I was thinking about your you going down the hill on that uh, on that wagon, and actually we had an incident here at the house just I don't know six months ago, not not long ago, just mm-hmm. just this year or last I guess what six months ago been last year whatever. Yeah. In the last year. In the last 365 days. Uh, Simon was trying to get Luke to do something. And Luke was like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And I don't. I didn't know what it was. And so I said, Simon, I don't know what Luke is. Uh, what Luke, I don't know what you're. Don't leave Luke alone. He doesn't want to do whatever it is you want him to do. I thought maybe he was wanting to play a game that Luke didn't want to play. Mm-hmm. I was like, Sai, just leave Luke alone. Don't let him, you know. So we're sitting in the living room, Shell and I. And we're, we're talking and... All of a sudden, I hear boom, 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 boom. Simon had fallen from the top of the stairs all the way to the bottom of the steps, and you know, Shell kind of freaked, but Simon was going through this, this was kind of going through this phase where he wasn't wanting to really listen, and so you know, as soon as we, I made sure he was okay, I, I got, I, I. I get. I ripped him a new one. Mm-hmm. I was like, "This is what happens when you don't listen." You know, this is. Yeah, I, I. I mean, I was. I was yelling. I was. I was just like, you know, this is what happens when you don't listen. When this is what happens when you don't. Because I had just said, like, 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 sixty seconds before, because I heard him play on the stairs. I said, "Hey, don't play on the stairs." Mm-hmm. And he had fallen. And then he'd come. To, he had crashed down the stairs. Made sure he was okay. I yelled at him. Right. So Simon just got dressed down. He just got ripped apart. And I look at Luke, and all I say is Luke. Okay? <laughs> I haven't even started yet. I wasn't going to yell at him. I was just going to tell him, listen. Because you know, Luke's only, you know, uh, uh, three, four? He's four? Three, He's three four. Um, probably probably close. To, yeah, I mean, probably four, I think. Yeah. All right. Um, this probably happened after December, so four. And I said, you know, I, I, I uh, you know, I was just going to tell him, like, hey, don't play on the stairs. Mm-hmm. That was going to obviously say, Luke, don't play on the stairs. All I said was Luke. He goes, no. He's like, I did. He's like, I was like, what's wrong? He's like, I pushed Simon down the stairs. <laughs> and I said, you pushed Simon down the stairs. He said, yeah. And I said, why did you push Simon down the stairs? He said, he told me to. And I said, Simon, did you tell Luke to push you down the stairs? Because yes. So when the story gets cleared up, what happened was Simon was going to have Luke slide down the stairs on like on a pillow or something. And Luke didn't want to. Hence the earlier part where, uh, earlier part of the evening where Luke was telling him I don't want to do that. Uh-huh. So to prove his point that this was a perfectly safe thing to do, Simon got up the top of the stairs and told Luke to push him off the <laughs> stairs. <laughs> And so Luke pushed him off the stairs. <laughs> He's just like, now fortunately it could have ended a lot worse, you know. But you know, good thing the nice thing about little kids is that they're flexible and you know, they can, you know, they can sustain a fall down a flight of stairs and be fine. If I thought I'd fly stairs, I'd be busted up. Uh, I would be all kinds of broken. Well, the stairs would probably be broken too. Not probably, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'd break the stairs. You know, just real fast. I know we're a little bit out of time, but. We brought Sam into the earlier section. Let's bring him to the last section. The time that Sam got injured, do you remember the time at Tar Hollow when we used to go camping? Sam was riding his bike and he flew right off into the culvert. <laughs> I watched it happen. It was like, scary. He's riding towards me and he goes, whoop. <laughs> he just disappears below the side of this massive, like, 10 foot, 15 foot culvert. He goes, whoo. <laughs> he flies you right down. <laughs> I was like, what well, did he bring anything for that? What no, happened? he didn't. He he was completely fine. He's landing in this big pile of rocks, like like this big. He landed in the rock. He's completely fine. I think the bike probably broke his fall a little bit, but I remember I was riding a scooter. I turned around. I was like, Mom, Mom. I started riding back. Oh, I went to the campsite and told them. I was like, Sam fell. And oh my God! And we rode down. He's like, This is fine. Can you help me get my bike out of here? So, well, that's it for today. Um, I think we're all wrapped up. Yep. Sound about right? Okay. Well, until next time, I'm Eli. I'm Joshua. And this is something. We hope you liked today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment because we enjoy chatting with you. Also, check us out on Instagram and Facebook at This Is Something. All the links are below. Thanks and have a beautiful day.